students how are you i hope you are fine safe and sound in your household i am dinesh khanna hod chemistry srcc janakpuri today i will be starting with the first chapter that is solutions what is a solution a solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more components what do you mean by the word homogeneous homogeneous means the components are uniformly distributed into each other the component in a smaller quantity is called the solute smaller quantity in terms of number of moles and the component in a larger quantity that is in terms of moles is called the solvent a solution can be binary if it consists of two components tertiary if it consists of three components or a quaternary if it consists of four components is that clear the next topic is methods of expression of concentrations methods of expression of concentrations first method is mole fraction how can you define mole fraction it can be defined as the ratio of the number of moles of a component to that of total number of moles in the solution for example consider a binary solution that is a solution containing two components a and b solution containing two components a and b then the mole fraction of a denoted by chi a chi this is chi a is equal to number of moles of a upon number of moles of a plus number of moles of b number of moles of the component upon total number of moles in the solution the mole fraction of b will thus be number of moles of b upon number of moles of a plus number of moles of b the sum of mole fractions is always unity mole fraction has no units now how do you calculate the number of moles that is mass of solute upon wa upon ma this is the molar mass this is mass of component mass upon molar mass that is the number of moles it has no units at all we we'll start with a small example for example if we start with a very simple question an aqueous solution an aqueous solution of acetic acid is 3% by mass calculate mole fraction of acetic acid an aqueous solution what do you mean by the word aqueous the solution is in water so that means there are two components acetic acid and water now mole fraction of acetic acid will thus be given by number of moles of acetic acid upon number of moles of acetic acid plus number of moles of water being the second component in the solution now what do you mean by this word 3% by mass it means if the total mass of the solution is 100 grams then the mass of acetic acid is 3 grams let mass of solution be 100 grams then mass of acetic acid will be 3 grams then what will be mass of water equal to 100 minus 3 is equal to 97 so what will be the mole fraction of acetic acid number of moles of acetic acid number of moles is mass upon molar mass acetic acid the molar mass is 60 so that will be 3 by 60 divided by 3 by 60 
प्लस 97 अपॉन 18 व्हिच इज द मोलर मास ऑफ वाटर एंड व्हाट विल बी काई बी और काई वाटर इक्वल टू 1 माइनस काई एच टी के सो दिस इज हाउ टू सॉल्व द द थिंग इज यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट डज दिस मीन बाय मास इज w बाय w then you have to suppose if it is by mass you have to suppose the total mass of the solution to be 100 grams and mass of solute will be given by the percentage in that solution is that clear this is what mole fraction is all about moving on to the second method of expression of concentration that is molality that is molality you have already done in your 11th class molality molality is also a mass dependent property it can be defined as the number of moles of solute per unit mass of the solvent per unit mass of the solvent mind you solvent so that it is denoted by small m small m is equal to number of moles of solute upon weight of solvent in kilograms and if it is in grams then number of moles of solute upon weight of solvent in grams in 2000 its unit is molal its unit is molal or moles per kilogram moles per kilogram is the unit of molality to a question simple question as simple as anything please check it out an aqueous solution of ethylene glycol molar mass 62 is 3.1% by mass calculate molality calculate the molality now 3.1% by mass means 100 grams of solution 3.1 grams of ethylene glycol the rest will be water so let mass of solution be 100 grams then mass of ethylene glycol is 3.1 grams then mass of water will be 100 minus 3.1 is equal to 96.9 grams so what will be molality then molality will be equal to number of moles of ethylene glycol 3.1 divided by 62 the molar mass of ethylene glycol divided by weight of water that is 96.9 in 2000 this will be in molar so this is what molality is all about the main stress is on this thing the percentage by mass you have to just translate into this into chemistry first the chemistry says 3.1 grams of ethylene glycol is dissolved in 100 grams of the solution to calculate the mass of the solvent subtract the mass of the solute from the mass of the solution so this is what molality is all about next topic is molarity 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 what is molarity it is a volume dependent property it can be defined as the number of moles of the solute per unit volume of the solution per unit volume of the solution or number of moles of the solute per liter of the solution it is denoted by capital m capital m it is given by number of moles of solute upon volume of solution in liters and if it is in ml the number of moles of solute upon volume of solution in ml in 2000 its unit is molar molar or moles per liter moles per liter it's a volume dependent problem now to a question an aqueous solution of sulfuric acid is 4.9% weight by volume 
कैलकुलेट मोलारिटी मोलर मास ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड इज नाइनटी What do you mean by the statement? Four point nine percent weight by volume. Those students who have done chemistry in eleventh class from me might be knowing the meaning of this word. For others, you should know one thing: weight by volume is weight is of that of the solute and volume is of the solution. As it is percentage given to you, so you will have to suppose the volume of the solution. Let the volume of solution be hundred ml. then mass of solute that is sulfuric acid is 4.9 grams mind you this is ml this is gram because this is weight per volume then what will be molarity given by number of moles of solute 4.9 divided by 98 the molar mass upon volume of solution i don't need to subtract anything here in molarity we used to spread the mass of the solute from that of the solution but here it is a solution dependent property and that was a solvent dependent property 100 into 1000 so that is molarity and the unit is moles per liter or molar moles per liter or molar is that clear so this is the answer now to a very important question that appears on the board board almost regularly is which is a better method which is the better method to calculate the concentration the molarity or the molality now see molality is number of moles of solute upon weight of solvent in grams in 2000 and molarity is number of moles of solute upon volume of solution in 2000 if it is in ml now see molality is a mass dependent or weight dependent property what does this mean the weight of the solution the solvent this depends upon the volume of the solution and you very well know that volume of the solution changes with atmospheric conditions like temperature pressure etc so that means broadly speaking molarity depends upon the temperature that means molarity of the solution can change with the change in temperature as the volume changes with change in temperature but the solvent the mass of this was changed the mass does not change with temperature so molarity at all temperatures is constant molarity at all temperatures remain constant thus molarity is the best method to calculate the concentrations now moving on to conversion of one type of concentration method of expression of concentration into the other type of method of concentration supposing if you want to convert molality into mole fraction molality into mole fraction for example an aqueous solution of nitric acid molar mass 63 is 3 molar 3 molar that means molality is given to you calculate mole fraction of nitric acid in the solution whenever you are to, you are asked to change the method of concentration into the other you need to go to the definition of the thing given for example you are given 3 molar what do you mean by the word 3 molar it means 3 moles of nitric acid are dissolved in 1 kg of water what is molarity number of moles per kg of solvent as it is an aqueous solution so this means this this implies 3 moles of nitric acid in 1000 grams of water this is the meaning of the statement 3 molar now what is mole fraction mole fraction of nitric acid is number of moles of nitric acid upon number of moles of nitric acid plus number of moles of water 
So what is chi nitric acid equal to? 3 moles. Moles of nitric acid upon 3 moles plus number of moles of water. Number of moles of water is equal to mass upon molar mass. 1000 upon 18. So putting it here, 1000 upon 18. So what will be chi nitric acid equal to? 3 upon 3 plus approximately 55.5. Chi nitric acid will be equal to 3 upon 58.5 with no units at all. So what have you done? Just the question gives the answer itself. 3 molar, go to the definition of molarity, 3 moles in 1000 grams of water, then calculate the, write the formula for the quantity you require, that is mole fraction, put in these values, he get the translated values of these things into this getting the molarity. That is what molarity, that is how molarity can be converted into mole fraction. Next is conversion of mole fraction, conversion of mole fraction into molarity. Mole fraction into molarity. Again the same thing. Mole fraction will be given to you. Go to the definition of mole fraction and then use it to get the molarity. For example, mole fraction of ethanol in water is 0 0.25. Calculate the molality of the solution given molar mass of ethanol is 46. What do you mean by the word mole fraction of ethanol and water is in water is 0 0.25? This is given to you. Chi ethanol is equal to 0 0.25. Now sum of mole fractions is unity. So what will be the mole fraction of water in this case? Mole fraction of water will be 1 minus 0 0.25 is equal to 0 0.75. Now let total number of moles be 1. So number of moles of ethanol will be 0 0.25. Number of moles of water will be 0 0.75. Is that clear? Now mole fraction of ethanol is equal to number of moles of ethanol 0 0.25 divided by sorry we have to calculate the molality molality is number of moles of ethanol 0 0.25 upon mass of solvent what is the solvent here water mass of solvent will be number of moles of water into its molar mass as mass is equal to number of moles into molar mass in 2000 this will be the molarity in mass of molar mass of water is 18 0 0.75 moles will be 18 into 0 0.5 into 1000 so this is how to solve these are very important questions in the later part of the chapter you will be discussing different colligative properties in the, those cases you'll have to convert these concentrations into one and the other so that is conversion of mole fraction into molarity now conversion of molarity into molarity conversion of molarity into molality conversion of molarity into molarity Molarity being a volume related property, molality being a mass related property. So that means that use of density becomes significant here. For example, a solution of acetic acid is 3 molar. Calculate molality given density of solution is 1.1 grams per cc density is given to you 
Now, the same thing now, you have to go to the definition of molar, molarity. What do you mean by molarity? Molarity is the number of moles per liter of the solution or per thousand ml of the solution. What does this mean then? This means 3 moles of acetic acid are dissolved in 1000 ml, that is 1 liter, 1 liter of the solution. 3 moles of acetic acid are dissolved in 1000 ml of the solution. <coughs> now you have translated this into chemistry. And now you write the definition of the quantity required, that is molality. What is molality? Number of moles of solute upon mass of solvent, mass of solvent in grams in 2000. What is number of moles of solute here? 3 moles of acetic acid, that is 3 divided by mass of solvent. What is the solvent here? Water. What is the volume of the solution? 1000 ml. So that means this will be mass of solution minus mass of solute into 1000. Or molality will be equal to 3 upon. What is mass of the solution? Volume of solution into density of solution whole minus mass of solute into 1000. Coming on to here, we get molality will be equal to 3 divided by volume of solution, 1000 ml, into density, 1.1, minus mass of solute. What is the number of moles of solute? 3. Number of moles of solute is 3. So, 3 into the molar mass of acetic acid, that is 60. What is this 60? Molar mass. So, molality will be 3 upon 11, into 1000, of course, 3 upon 1100 minus 180 into 1000. So, molality will be 3 upon 920 into 1000. So, this will be the molality. Now, please, this may be a bit tough for you. See, I gave you molality. Translate into chemistry, 3 moles of acetic acid dissolved in 1000 ml. Now write the formula for molality. You need to mass of the solvent. What is mass of the solvent? Just concentrate on this. Mass of solvent is mass of solution minus mass of solute. Mass of solution is volume of solution into density of solution minus the mass of solute. How do you calculate the mass of solute? Number of moles of solute into molar mass. That is how. So that is how to convert molarity into molality. This may be a bit tough. Next is to an NCRT question. Very important. 22.6 grams of ethylene glycol molar mass 62 is dissolved in 200 grams of water. Calculate molality and molarity. Density of solution is 1.072 grams per cc. Here you are to calculate the molarity and molarity. Now, again to the basic concept. This 222.6 grams of ethylene dicol molar mass 62 is dissolved in 200 grams of water. Now the question arises, which is the solvent? Here the solvent is water. Because number of water molecules, moles of water, number of moles of water is mole. Why? Because 200 has to be divided by 18, the molar mass of water, and this has to be divided by 62. So number of moles of ethylene dipole are less. That is why it is a solute. Now first, molality. Molality is number of moles of ethylene glycol divided by weight of water into 1000. As simple as anything, number of moles of ethylene glycol, 222.6 divided by 62 upon weight of water. Weight of water is 200 into 1000. 
एज सिंपल एज एनर्जी ठीक है दिस कम्स आउट टू मी इलेवन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन डिवाइड बाय सिक्सटी टू अप्रोक्सीमेटली सेवनटीन मोलल अप्रोक्सीमेटली बेटा सेवनटीन मोलल इज आंसर नाउ टू द मोलारिटी दिस इज अट्रिकी मोलारिटी इज नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट अपॉन वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोल्यूशन वॉल्यूम ऑफ दिस टू हंड्रेड ग्राम इज नॉट दज नॉट द मास ऑफ सोल्यूशन इट इज द मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोल्यूशन इन एम एल इन टू थाउजेंड ना वॉट विल बी मोलारिटी नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट दैट इज सेम एज अब टू ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट सिक्स डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटी टू वॉट इज वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोल्यूशन फॉर वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोल्यूशन यू नीड द मास ऑफ द सोल्यूशन वॉट इज मास ऑफ सोल्यूशन मास ऑफ सोल्यूशन विल बी टू ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट सिक्स प्लस टू हंड्रेड दिस इज मास ऑफ सोल्यूशन डिवाइडेड बाय वॉट विल बी वॉल्यूम मास पर यूनिट डेंसिटी मास पर यूनिट डेंसिटी डेंसिटी इज वन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन टू इन टू थाउजेंड वाय बिकॉज वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोल्यूशन इज इक्वल टू मास ऑफ सोल्यूशन अपॉन डेंसिटी ऑफ सोल्यूशन So this comes out to be two twenty two point six divided by sixty two whole divided by four twenty two point six divided by one point zero seven two in two thousand approximately nine molar. Do you understand what is this? Here, what do people do is the students they actually put this here. They divide this by density to get the volume. That will not be the volume of the solution. That will be volume of the solvent. We need the volume of the solution. This is how the questions have to be done. ठीक है? You have enough of time solving these questions. I'll be sending you the study material. Do the questions from the study material, and later I'll tell you how to contact me to get your problem solved, to get the doubt classes. We'll be doing that. We'll be doing that through WhatsApp or through FaceTime. Please, this is the time you have to remain at home, do a bit of exercise, a bit of study. ठीक है, remain safe at your homes. ठीक है, because this pandemic may, I say may last a bit longer. In that case, you have to be in contact with me through these video classes. Though it is not the permanent solution, one day or the other, if the if the situation becomes or improves, then we'll have to shift on to the offline classes. And in those classes, we may be doing the things again, though a bit faster. But that day has to come. This is my first video class, and maybe yours also. For any technical problems regarding audio or visual stimulus, you may WhatsApp me on my number so that improvements can be made. The main thing is you have to study. Okay. In the next class, we'll be doing vapor pressure. What is vapor pressure? Factors affecting vapor pressure. Rolle's law and the numericals based on Rolle's law. We may start with ideal and non-ideal solutions also. It's a very interesting chapter. A very good chapter. You'll be given time. Take it. Probably a video will be posted every two days or so. Thank you very much. Okay.